Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, we welcome you to this week's Rigi webinar. Uh, the topic for today is oil food service billing approvals, its challenges and solutions. An automated and digitized billing approval workflow can help companies achieve transparency, maintain timely payment cycles, and avoid any discrepancies that might arise due to manual invoicing processes. Oil food service bill and approval workflow is a series of steps that need to be followed to clear the bill tickets and the invoice. In this webinar, we'll describe approval scenario using paper tickets, digital tickets, and semi-digital tickets. But first, let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is Dasha, Manager, uh, Marketing Director here in Rigger, and our presenters today are Michael, who is a Chief Product Officer here in Rigger, and Nikolai, VP of Business Development. They will talk about challenges of oil field billing and DSO, show different billing approval scenarios and share best practices. At the end of the presentation, we will have a Q&A session where you will be able to ask any questions you might have. So you just type your questions to a Q&A section in your Zoom control panel. And now uh, we're gonna start. I'm gonna pass um, mic to Nikolai, who will talk about uh, a little bit about our company and the product. Uh, hi, hi, Nikolai. Hello, Dasha. Thank you very much uh, for the intro. And indeed, today's topic is a very interesting one. We know that many of you guys who are in the oil field service and rental space want to have uh, the ability to go digital fully, and signatures are a critical piece of that. But as Dasha introduced, I'll like to talk a little bit about what Rigor is and who we are and what we do. Um, uh, to those of you who are new to us, but if you are a client, uh, well, feel free to grab a coffee. Uh, it's going to take a couple of minutes. So Rigor is a company that is originated out of Canada, but we have most of our persons right now in the United States, uh, in Texas, primarily where the oil field um, is booming. And we would like to help all the other companies that are not part of our uh, portfolio to continue to digitize our operations. So our key value proposition, if you will, is to make sure that you guys in the oil field services uh, space are able to manage your operations and scale it. That's the most important thing. As fast as possible using the latest digital technology and how we are doing it through employing mobile field tickets, ensuring you have access to um, uh, a multitude of different modules, including asset management capabilities of your assets that you're offering to the operators. Uh, it, then uh, avoiding the paper documents and paper processes as much as possible, as well as having the solution that is tailored to your specific needs, as well as taking advantage of a multiple integrations that Rigor has uh, built in out of the gates. And uh, as an additional note, I wanted to say that we're striving for the uh, to be the most perfect organization for the oil field service companies. And hence, we have certifications, um, uh, ISO certifications on the quality management as well as the security management. So what rigor is? Uh, and uh, many people are asking uh, and wanted to know what exactly guys you do and how you do uh, the digitalization of the oil field service companies. So we, we're sweet, we're, we're basically a platform. So that is a very flexible system that allows you to enable different parts of the platform to specifically your business needs. So as a, and as a platform, we enable uh, specifically operations management side of the business. So there are different parts as you can see there and uh, all of these different parts play into the digitalization of the operations side of the organization from purchases, uh, part of the business where you need to manage all your purchasing decisions to sales, where you need to manage your pricing, uh, discounts and price management in general, to the services where you have to manage your services with the operating companies and you need to make sure that you can bill correctly for the time to the rental equipment um, uh, management. So where we have the modules that allow you to dispatch and track your assets specifically in it and keep the maintenance of them up to date. Uh, we also have the manufacturing and uh, invoicing billing capabilities in the system that are key when you need to bill for the services or the rentals. So all in all, it's a comprehensive solution that can be tailored specifically to your needs. As far as the modules go, uh, I wanted to dive in a little quickly. So what kind of different uh, modules we have? We have more than uh, 20 different modules right now. 
uh, they vary in uh, complexity or the comprehensiveness rather. And it depends on what specific things you want to digitize in the organization because not every organization is the same. Everybody is different in scale, the size, different types of equipment you may be using, hence you have different requirements. So instead of offering something that fits everything at a, at a mediocre level, we'd rather focus on actually tailoring the solution that works specifically for you. If you need a specific module, we enable it for you and explain to you how that fits your operational processes. So all in all, we have more than 200 different features and number of modules a number of reports and dashboards that enable your leadership to see what's going on at your organization on a daily basis proactively with a suite of um, integrations and mobile applications to enable people in the field to feed the data to the people in the office. So all is in one platform for your needs. Some of our clients are presented in this slide because I know that to those of you who are new, you may have some questions uh, about whom we've helped already. So here you can see some of the companies, they're very diverse as far as what they specifically need in, as far as uh, the tracking of assets or the types of services that they, have, they offer. But all of them are part of the oil field services and rentals business space. So on that note, it was a quick overview. So I hope that those of you who are our clients have had a chance to grab a coffee, come back and are ready for the major part of the presentation today. Oil field billing challenges, uh, and then as a follow on, how are we going to help you with that? So, let me pass the microphone to Michael on that note and uh, let him take it away. Hello, everyone. Thank you, Nikolai and Dasha. Uh, welcome to Rigor Webinar uh, 118. Uh, and uh, let's move forward. Today's topic is uh, oil field billing and uh, how uh, to apply the digital billing approval. So the entire oil service cash flow and operating cycle process looks like uh, that. Like the, then the client uh, uh, requests the, the service, the, the operating cycle start. Then we have dispatching, field service, and uh, this is this is the main problem which we'd uh, like to discuss today: how to make uh, this approval faster. Uh, so to generate invoicing and billing approval uh, in the same day or um, next day, um, which, uh, which is uh, always what was our motto, so next day invoicing. And uh, definitely it will require um, some uh, special steps. Uh, and uh, at the end of the uh, implementation, um, it will uh, improve the cash flow and um, the uh, bottom line of the entire business operations. So when we uh, talk about DSO and optimization of the operational cycle, uh, we need to consider uh, and uh, uh, see the step-by-step -step process from uh, pricing, job setup, delivery and return for re rentals, or just uh, uh, providing service. Uh, then we have a billing approval. Uh, this, is, this is our specific focus today and invoicing and payment, uh, which is a kind of a standard step-by-step uh, -step process for the uh, oil field service. To uh, understand how we will do this uh, billing approval, uh, which is uh, kind of the uh, last step, uh, we need to understand how the entire uh, billing approval creates that, that uh, invoice uh, uh, or field ticket. Uh, so this, this billing, billing approval uh, should have price, should have uh, quantity, should have services, etc. So, and uh, we see uh, kind of six different uh, uh, roles in uh, this process. So first of all, the price management or the price manager who set up the price books, understand what is the specific prices for a particular client. Uh, then we have a salesperson who uh, identify the needs, uh, provide uh, a particular quote, uh, and then we have the management uh, which uh, approves this. Uh, then uh, the dispatch, understanding who is available when it's done, then it should be done and uh, assign particular tickets to the particular technicians. Then everything goes back to uh, uh, the dispatcher, and then we will have a uh, the billing approval or. Another option, the billing approval can be done in the field. And after that, everything goes to the accountant. So our main goal to optimize this process and understand how we can um, create the billing approval, digital billing approval in the field. So uh, when we talk about operational cycle and uh, they saw uh, delays reason, uh, we can consider uh, several groups of uh, 
issues. One is the pricing. For example, um, the after-job negotiation, uh, say client asks the discount, uh, the uh, uh, price not set up properly, and uh, then uh, we have a kind of a dispute between client and technician, and uh, it could be an issue. Uh, poor communication between sales operations and accounting. So the uh, department, uh, then the accountant had no idea what to invoice and how uh, to apply a particular price to a particular client. Uh, another another thing which we facing with our clients is the over complicated pricing model. When the price calculation, it's a different challenge or quest. Uh, you know, uh, add 5% here, minus 3% here, plus uh, this and this. Taxable, non-taxable, can completely different story. But uh, in general, uh, the price model as simple as, as, should be as simple as possible. No pricing approval or no pricing agreements. This is, this is another big uh, thing for the oil field uh, because, again, the price is... <laughs> It's, it's easy to negotiate price before the deal uh, than after, because uh, after the deal, the, the client has only the power. And uh, manual price updates, this is another thing. So uh, the company should have uh, uh, one source of truth, uh, one understanding where, where the prices are. Another uh, group of issues is the dispatching. Usually it's not that bad. But uh, sometimes uh, lack of job details like location dates or wrong location, wrong dates, and uh, poor rec- resource visibility, like uh, who is available, uh, what capacity. Uh, say, for example, we had an issue with wireline company. Uh, they send a, a truck to the uh, well, and uh, it, uh, real- they realize that at the, uh, at the well that uh, the length of cable is not uh, enough uh, for for the for the job, so that kind of uh, information should be in uh, and connected to the resource, and uh, uh, it should be available all the time. Uh, field tickets. This is one of the biggest thing right now. Um, so the paper is a problem. Paper tickets. We we all know uh, it's not sustainable uh, solution. Uh, it's always. Uh, could be missed, lose, destroyed. Uh, uh, handwriting, writing, spelling, and errors is a part of this uh, uh, paper uh, approach. Uh, missing details. Uh, some of the details could be very important. Details could be missed on the field, uh, on the ticket, and uh, then we need to restore or uh, recreate it. Lack of signatures is another thing. Uh, so, so many different different things uh, which happen, which we faced every every single time. Uh, and another, another big deal uh, is the time to send to the office. Uh, we had a client in Texas, and uh, they uh, had seven different uh, divisions uh, and uh, different locations uh, and operating areas. It took them seven um, weeks to collect all the um, tickets from different field technicians, physically move them to the office, send to the office. And uh, another, another problem that uh, after that, you need to invoice it and uh, it's a different challenge. And definitely a uh, manual process uh, uh, to enter uh, all those tickets to uh, IT system if, uh, if they are paper based, it's a, it's a different, different thing. And uh, for the invoicing, uh, definitely we have sales tax rates, uh, different sales tax uh, um, rates are applicable for different counties uh, and uh, another another challenge is a uh, rental day calculations and uh, uh, client approval requirements which is different with different client so uh, client approval requirements uh, could be EFE, uh, routing uh, and uh, we even uh, create uh, the uh, conduct the survey of Canadian oil field uh, in the 2015. Uh, understanding what kind of uh, client requirements, what kind of companies are uh, uh, set up for their invoices, for their approval, for their billing. So, and I see uh, the contact name and email is the most popular uh, field ticket number, LSD, which is a location in, in Canada, AFECC, 
major minor official stamp. This is a very important thing. So uh, as you see, seven years ago, the official stamp was, uh, uh, it's, it's a, a wet stamp, uh, was important for 43% uh, of the companies. And uh, it was kind of a, a no, no go for the, for the digitalization of the uh, tickets because you, know, you need to put it uh, to, to the ticket anyways. Uh, but right now, the situation is developing and uh, this number is low. I couldn't tell you the exact number, but uh, the feeling is that uh, more and more uh, ENP companies uh, accept uh, digital signatures and digital stamps, which we will talk uh, in, in a second. Uh, another thing, GLPR, uh, approval code, approval name, department breakdown. So you see that lots of lots of different uh, things uh, which uh, oil companies are uh, required for their accounting systems and their approvals. Moreover, uh, what we did those days, because we, have, we, we, have, we faced that challenge and, you know, uh, it, you always need to remember which uh, company required what uh, in the ticket and the invoice, uh, we create a, a special uh, settings uh, uh, where you can set up the client requirements and put mandatory and uh, not mandatory fields, uh, which uh, accountant uh, check uh, before they send invoice to the client. So no return of the invoices because of lack of information. Okay, so billing approval and invoice. So how it's, uh, it works uh, with the paper base uh, and uh, paper base situation. And we have a lot of, traveling here, uh, say, for example, we have a return invoice for the equipment or field ticket, uh, uh, sorry, return ticket uh, uh, for, for the equipment or field ticket, uh, and everything goes back to, to the office. Uh, then we create a billing approval, uh, calculate all the necessary part uh, details. Uh, it could be pre-invoice document. It could be even invoice. Uh, different organizations run this process in different way. But then interesting part started uh, when uh, the technician or whoever, uh, we even saw uh, a special uh, title in the, in the organization, uh, the person who chased the company man to sign the ticket. Then we have a, a approval, then we have a return, then we create invoice and uh, uh, we uh, send uh, this invoice to the client for the payment. Uh, so it's it's very, very uh, rudimental process and very time consuming and definitely uh, cost us a lot of money. Uh, with digital approach, uh, we uh, can run the billing approval uh, faster synchronization run uh, in minutes. You do not need to spend two days driving uh, and you can send uh, uh, the uh, ticket for approval uh, digitally uh, using different methods. Uh, which I will show you in a second. And after that, uh, it will shrink that uh, travel time, uh, kind of return to the office, uh, creating billing approval, and then uh, send back to the company man, uh, approve it, and send back again. So if, if we can digitalize this process, it will definitely speed up uh, the, uh, our um, operating cycle and reduce our DSO because we will receive payments faster. And uh, how we can do this approval in the field. First of all, using mobile tickets. Mobile tickets, mobile signatures, uh, if the client accepts it, is the best way. Uh, so when you ask the uh, company man or person who is uh, responsible for uh, this transaction uh, to sign this uh, ticket on mobile, and uh, you have a PDF uh, file where you can attach it and invoice it. Uh, uh, if the client required a wet stamp and uh, paper-based ticket, traditional way, <laughs> uh, then you can print this uh, using mobile printer from the mobile phone and uh, use uh, uh, the uh, photo attached function uh, and uh, your ticket will be attached uh, uh, to the to the mobile uh, ticket. Another option is a digital signature uh, by email when you create the billing approval and send this uh, to the um, uh, company man uh, phone uh, directly uh, or company man email. Uh, and uh, uh, the last uh, is a web portal when you collect all the 
uh, invoices and send this uh, link to the client and they enter the web portal and approve uh, invoices in the bulk. Again, different methods work for different clients. We saw that for, for our uh, clients, uh, they, they work differently with each EMP because they have some different relationship with them. So how the mobile digital signature works. So say, for example, uh, here's our mobile application with different field tickets in it, and uh, we can create uh, the mobile signature, like open the ticket, uh, go to the uh, signature, save uh, the signature to the uh, phone, and uh, then uh, after the synchronization, you've got the PDF. And you see that after the signature, uh, all the fields are not um, editable because the ticket is already signed. Another option, when you have the paper, paper ticket in front of you and um, uh, you can um, uh, take a photo of uh, these tickets and this is, this is how it works uh, in, uh, in, in real life. So you open the ticket, uh, say for example, you already print the ticket and have a signed, uh, for, uh, signed paper uh, and uh, use uh, your camera uh, use photo and uh, attach this photo as, a, as an attachment and then synchronize back to the cloud. So the accountant will receive the confirmation of the uh, approval, the job approval. Okay. Another uh, thing which uh, you can use uh, for the uh, approval is a digital stamp and digital signature uh, using um, uh, different uh, digital signature software. Uh, when we can create this uh, field ticket and send this to the uh, company man um, uh, phone or uh, computer so they can use an e email, open this, uh, check all the uh, information and enter uh, uh, sign, uh, the sign, sign the uh, ticket and enter all the necessary requirements like EFE, code, road, supervisor, well name in this case. So they uh, uh, kind of create a digital stamp uh, every single time, uh, as soon as they understand what kind of transaction, what kind of information they need to input there. And uh, the final version, uh, when we uh, create uh, a web portal with the list of the uh, invoices for approval or tickets for approval, it depends on the structure and uh, you can create even uh, a specific final uh, web portal for a particular client uh, and a client can see all the open jobs, all, all locations, equipment in, in the field, uh, job reports uh, and uh, all the invoices and uh, can approve uh, it um, in, the, in the web portal. So uh, usually this uh, run with uh, the v, v, VIP clients uh, with uh, whom you have a great relationship so they can uh, approving voices in bulk. Uh, let's talk about different scenarios. Uh, we saw so many different approaches of the uh, approval uh, and how it works and uh, how things happen. So scenario zero, which is uh, we see it as kind of a starting point for all of our clients when they have a print in the office and email signed billing approval. So uh, when they uh, create the return ticket uh, uh, provided to the field technician, and then everything goes back to the to the paper. Uh, you know, we can we can use photo uh, uh, and send this by email. Uh, so without any mobile application, so uh, it's it's a one one other thing. Uh, scenario one: print in the office uh, and scan. So some of the clients they they um, can create uh, the uh, final. Uh, billing approval, return ticket, uh, printing in the office and uh, provide this uh, as a paper uh, to, the, uh, to the field technician. Uh, then uh, field tech uh, have the paper copy and digital copy, sign paper copy, scan the uh, 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 paper copy and send back everything to, uh, uh, to the cloud. And uh, in this case, we speed up so you do not have uh, the, the time to, to synchronize uh, to to travel travel back and forth another way uh, digital signature uh, when you create the billing approval so receive all the information from the field tech the admin create the billing approval sent to digital signature platform 
uh, client receive it, uh, create the PDF, and you receive this PDF uh, with all the digital stamp and uh, details about the jobs. And then the invoice generated, so uh, you receive payment faster. Uh, same thing, not the digital signature, but uh, uh, client web portal. Uh, same scenario, the only difference is that uh, you use not digital signature, but client web portal. Uh, uh, and uh, other scenarios which uh, we discuss with the clients, but usually they are not really favorite one because the first three are uh, probably covered 90% of the cases. So uh, field digital signature or uh, printing uh, tickets uh, in, in the field. Again, uh, what we see that with different ENP companies, service providers works in a different way. So it could be all five scenarios within one client and it's totally good. So tools and technologies which we use to, uh, for uh, digital signatures is the uh, definitely a rigor cloud, uh, the entire platform with different components in it. Uh, but of course, uh, the oil field service and oil field rentals uh, would be beneficial from uh, digital signature. Uh, rigor mobile application uh, field 8.0, uh, we call it yellow, yellow mobile app. Uh, rigor client web portal, uh, brother mobile printers. Uh, uh, this is a, a tool which give us an opportunity to print directly from mobile and uh, in the uh, truck or in, in the field. Uh, digital signature solutions, uh, DocuSign, PandaDoc, and uh, sales tax uh, uh, software, Avalara, which give us an ability to integrate uh, and uh, provide the proper tax rate for the each uh, invoice. What is our recommendation for uh, implementing digital billing approval? First of all, we recommend to study clients' requirements. Are they need? Uh, are they are they uh, able to uh, use a digital signature or digital stamp? How big this percentage? So is it thirty percent, seventy percent of your client, etc.? Uh, next, uh, uh, it's a, a mapping process. So the same same thing which I just show you different scenarios. Understand what you will do with this client, what you will do with this client, or even uh, different department can use different type of the. Uh, services and different uh, uh, approaches. Uh, billing tools using digital technologies. So uh, kind of combine all those things together, which we uh, just saw and uh, uh, test digital billing approval with one client or with one technician, understanding how it works, pros and cons, what uh, we're missing, what needs to be added. Uh, so then train personnel, adjust uh, uh, for the each client and uh, adopt digital billing approval for the entire organization. That's it. So this is this is our uh, experience and our practice, and this is what we recommend uh, everyone doing uh, in the oil field nowadays. So, and we're ready for Q and A. Perfect. Thank you very much, Michael. Um, and I think it was it was a great topic. And as far as based on the previous interest of uh, our current and existing clients. So uh, we're ready to take your questions. And here's, uh, I have a couple. So the first question is that, how do I see, and I think it's from existing client now, I recognize the name. Uh, how, how do I see the digital approval in my current database? How can I set up uh, that for myself? Yes, for sure. So first of all, um, digital approval, um, again, there are several scenarios and uh, it could be uh, integration with the digital signature and digital stamp uh, solutions, or, or it could be mobile, mobile application. So uh, yeah, we, we need to talk more precisely, more, more detail. But in general, um, uh, when you have a digital approval document, it will be a attachment uh, to your uh, physical uh, <laughs> digital document. So your 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 document, so if ticket uh, or invoice. If you have this digital approval uh, approve, uh, approval uh, confirmation, this will be a PDF file which will be attached to um, uh, to the document uh, or a JPEG file if you. Uh, take a photo. Okay, perfect. Another question is that uh, you've showed several scenarios. How can I use only one, or multiple scenarios are possible to be set up? The ideal, if of course, the ideal situation you can use only one. Uh, but uh, when your number of clients are growing, uh, there are several different requirements, and uh, you 
Yeah, we wish to use one, but uh, our practice showing that uh, the clients use minimum three of those of those scenarios because you know with this client you use only paper, with this client you use a uh, uh, digital signature, but definitely uh, it going to the way uh, to the digitalization. Uh, so uh, digital oil field is coming, and uh, I, I I hope and wish that uh, it will be only one. One scenario when you um, you know sign everything on a on a uh, phone uh, and uh, everything accept that every everyone accept that right and I think I wanted to kind of dwell on it I think the part of the question is that I have different types of clients and some clients uh, may require only paper uh, wet stamp which in which case um, uh, I believe we can allow you to uh, create a digital ticket and then take a picture of it. Uh, of the wet stamp and then upload it to the ticket. So the second scenario would have been if the people accept the electronic signature. So that's the second scenario uh, that you can be using. And then uh, you can enable electronic signature through DocuSign or Adobe Sign or PandaDoc. So that will require for people to actually authenticate the signature. So there's a way to have a secured signature on it. Uh, so you can set up different scenarios uh, using rigor, depending on what kind of option the client uh, allows to have with you. So in the end, we hope that one or the other one will be working for you a, apart from the paper ticket, but you can combine all the different options. So I'm looking at the question. I don't think I have any more questions. So guys, if you have any other ones, please feel free to reach out to us. Uh, the contact information should be on the slide. If it's not, you can always find us at rigor.us. Uh, or just by calling or emailing us at the email and the phone number that you see on the screen. So we'll be more than happy to set up a quick personalized demo for you uh, to see how you can um, enable the digital electronic signature on your, on, in your specific instance of Rigor if you're already a client, or we can actually walk you through the whole uh, Rigor suite and see how we might be able to help you from uh, organizing the digital operations uh, in your instance if you are not a client yet. And and for for all our uh, Permian Basin or, or tax, uh, Texas Saxon uh, listeners uh, uh, visitors, uh, uh, so we um, will be in Roseland uh, uh, oil field uh, conference uh, in Midland next week. So uh, please join uh, and come to our booth if you have any questions. We will glad to talk to you in person. All right. So since I don't see any more questions, we'd like to thank everyone for participating. Uh, and asking questions. I look forward to seeing you in person and on the internet. Good. Thank you so much and uh, see you next time.